Okay, I've become an assistant coach for Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool in FC24. And our goal is to return Liverpool to the top of English and European football. And to get there, we're going to need to improve this team. Now, our problem is we're in the Europa League. We can't attract the big, big names till we get ourselves back into the Champions League. But despite that, our dream of bringing a certain player to Anfield is still alive. So drop a like down below if you want daily episodes of this series. And of course, let's get back into it. Now, we had a quick conversation with Jurgen Klopp in which Klopp said the trans window closes in five days. We do have options, but there's one player I really want to bring to Liverpool, and we're just not sure if we can pull it off. But first comment, play Trent at TDM as Zubendi is not the finished article and should be a rotation option. Yeah, our first signing in the series was Martin Zubendi from Real Sociedad. Be our second TDM behind Endo, or I guess alongside Endo. Now, I feel like it's inevitable at some point we'll try Trent in the midfield. I'm just not sure it's time for that yet. You should definitely sign Piero and Capier from Bayer Leverkusen as he's been linked a lot to Liverpool and has a real face. Yeah, I do remember we were linked to him a lot towards the end of the transfer window. Now, in this save, he's already gone to Atletico Madrid, but in January, I feel like we could try. He looks like a very solid center back, maybe a, a Joel Mati replacement. And last one, are you going to do a player career mode? Yeah, so we're going to start a player career mode over on my other channel, Tyster Plus, which that should start either today or tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. So we are four days away from deadline day, and we do have 134 million to spend. And we have players that we want to target in the series, but us not being in the Champions League hurts those chances a lot. But still, Jurgen Klopp wanted us to meet with Jude Bellingham just to have a little conversation. Now, Bellingham says the Champions League was a big factor in him choosing Real Madrid over Liverpool. And in the future, if Liverpool get back to being a top team in Europe, he says that he's open to anything and that the door is not closed. And I mean, right here, this is Jurgen Klopp's dream signing. Jude Bellingham will be so good at Liverpool. I mean, he's already been so good at Real Madrid, so it's impossible right now, but he remains the dream target for this series at some point. Project Bellingham is still on. It's still alive. So if we can't sign Bellingham right now, I was trying to think, who should we then sign right now? Does this team actually need anything right now? Like, we already have players like Gakpo Nunez that are in the starting 11. Same with Harvey Elliott. We got youngsters like Besetic and even Ben Doak. So I think instead of forcing a signing in this window, we might leave Zubendi as our only signing in this first transfer window. Give us about like four months to assess the team. And then in January, we can really address what we need. Now, you guys gave a lot of suggestions in the comments. So we've filled up this short list with a lot of players, a lot of really good targets for the future in this series. So they remain targets, but I think for now, it makes sense just to assess the team first. And also try to get back in the Champions League before we can attract these big, big name players. So it's going to be a quiet deadline day for Liverpool. And I would say that's kind of fitting for us right now. This is barely the start of our journey of bringing Liverpool back to the top. And it's going to be a journey. Okay, something we are going to do though is I'm going to make Diogo Jota a striker. I want to all our strikers on the same position like i don't want center forwards and strikers i want everyone to be a striker and it's also because i have fixed like most of our lineup problems here so sabasai is now a right attacking mid so he's playing his natural position and then jota striker uh nunez of course a striker too so they can uh flip flop more easily and then we're gonna make cody gakpo a left winger although i know he can play striker i mean pretty much gakpo diaz and jota can all play striker left wing so we're gonna balance that out by making gakpo a left winger but they are interchangeable so pretty much the lineup is fixed and also we started the season realistically with um Callister playing cdm but i think for now it's either gonna be endo or uh Zubmendi at cdm we're going to play players in their natural spots. So first game of the day is going to be Wolves away. We currently sit in seventh. We are five points off Arsenal Man City up top, which I would say is very uh, realistic-ish. So we cannot fall behind. We need to win this game. So Endo plays at CDM. Uh, Gakpo is playing left wing. Other than that, same starting lineup as usual. So our first three games of the season, we uh, we won one, we draw one, then we lost one bad. We've experienced uh, many emotions here so far at Liverpool in the series. And we're playing on ultimate. Honestly, the game is not easy this year. At least to start, it feels difficult. So, but this game is a very important game to win, to not fall behind the top like five. Now there still are no like uh match walkouts or anything i'm not still I'm not sure if that's a bug or that's actually how it is now i have no idea hopefully they fix that because like the walkouts and the the anthem and stuff that always added to the immersion of the game and if that's out i mean i can't see anyone being happy with that all right on it i'm honestly i'm honestly not sure what has happened there but someone's offside i think it must have been a foul on van dyke actually okay he scored so that's not good but at least it was rolled out okay this feels like wolves in real life because we're getting caught out by them in real life wolves actually played really well this game and so far they've had a good start here oh that was a good attempt to at tackle somehow we didn't get it okay cunha has now missed like almost three shots that man cannot find the target. Robbo, good ball to Gakpo. Now Gakpo gets it back to Robbo. Let's swing this around. Try and find something Endo. Trying to find Salah there. Salah might pick it up. He does. But then plays it right to Neto. Okay, our passing has been terrible to start this game. I just realized that's Willick. That's Newcastle's Willick, right? He's apparently signed for uh, Wolves in the series. Interesting. Bro, every pass has been caught out right now. Everyone's running forward and the Wolves players are just stepping in front of my players. I don't know what's happening right now. Robbo, that might be a foul. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. Okay, I don't know what's up with me this year. I keep giving up penalties. It's a yellow for Robbo. We're getting like the referee cam here. It's another penalty. Man, I thought I was going to get the ball there. That's a missed time tackle. Okay, not a good start. Allison, we need you. Cunha. Oh, we weren't down the middle. Okay, it's one of the wolves and they deserve it, honestly. We need to wake up. This has been a terrible start. Cunha is getting every chance he wants. Trent will get it and we're just going to clear it. Robertson gets it up to Tiago. Tiago's now got space. Jota. 
Gets it to Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo should score. Gakpo, I need you to score that. Friend, cross up. Goes over to Kanate. Kanate, strong header. Jose saw barely saves it. Okay, looking a little bit better here. Can we tie this game up? Good. Okay, great corner. Jota climbs, but a good save. Again, in. Jota is not going to get that one. Salah can head it to someone. It's going to be out by Lamina. Back into Salah. Salah will shoot, and now that's a bad shot. And all my players feel like a very sluggish. I don't know if it's sharpness or something, but everyone feels pretty terrible. They woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. That is through to Reyna. Reyna, Kanate. Okay, thankfully makes tackle there. It doesn't commit another penalty. Bro, every single pass is caught out right now. My players are standing behind the Wolves players. Can we get in front of them to receive the pass, maybe? They might score again. Allison, great save, and well cleared out. And this has been a, just a terrible start here. Robo Slager dribbling. We'll play it out to Andy Robertson. Robo gets it to Gakpo. Gakpo gets it back to Robo. Now, Andy Robertson's got space here. Okay, Jota, we see you. Jota goes to Gakpo instead. Gakpo near post and Jose Saw makes another save. Someone get to this. Okay, someone just fell over right there. Come on, find this equalizer. That's apparently a foul. We got free kick. We do have free kick. Is this range? This might be shooting range, actually. All right, Trent Alexander-Arnold. This is Trent range. Can we score this free kick? It looked, oh, it looked decent. Heads it back. Obasai gets it over to Trent. Trent long shot. It's going to be blocked. And halftime, it's 1-0 to Wolves. Come on, we need to be so much better than this. This so far has been just insanely poor from us. No one should be happy in our team right now. This feels a lot like the Wolves game in real life. Like, that first half was just so bad. Can we wake up in the second half? Yago plays it to Gakpo. Gakpo will play it up to Jota. That pass was terrible. Jota will try and cross it. Crosses it to... Actually goes to Trent. Okay, I didn't even see him there. Trent into Salah. Salah shoots. Jose saw another good save. We went for like a low shot there. And the space is there. Could we actually exploit it though? Gakpo into Jota. Jota can't get it. I think we need some early subs here. These players are not getting it done. All right, Nunez Diaz and also Curtis Jones is on. We just need something different here. Immediately, Nunez gets it over. It's going to be Luis Diaz who needs to score this and Diaz does score. Okay, instant impact off the bench. 63rd minute, it's 1-1. That was a very smart sub. And Luis Diaz, very solid finish from that uh, right-hand side or left-hand side, actually. But now let's go on to win this game. Diaz gets it to Nunez. Nunez waves something. Sobasly making a great run. Dominic Sobasly rebound. Oh man, Sobasly, I need you to finish that. He went for an outside the boot finish. It was decent looking, but just uh, not good enough. And Trent just fell over. I don't know what that was, Kanate. Strong tackle by Kanate. Beautifully done. Bobosly, pass up to Darwin Nunez. Great pass. Nunez, Salah, gets it over to Luis Diaz again. And, oh, Jose Sal makes the save. I could have passed it, maybe. Come on, 20 minutes to find a winner here. Good corner. It's Salah, but it goes way over the net. Look at that. We got, like, new graphics showing, like, our shots. And look at Salah's shot. That thing is all the way to the left. That is embarrassing. Salah, up to Darwin Nunez. Nunez has it. Plays it back. Great pass. Oh, man, that was almost such a good move. How many saves has Jose Sa made? Trent, great cross. No, Diaz. Falls to Van Dyke. Van Dyke shoots. And is that going to win? That's it, actually. Oh, man, Semedo can't clear off the line, and Van Dyke scores. Might be an own goal, actually. But it's 2-1 to Liverpool. Oh, yeah, Semedo couldn't clear it. Thank you, goal line technology. I mean, how close was it, actually? Uh, Semedo's going to clear it right here, right? Are they going to show it? Are they going to show it? Yeah, okay. okay, that's well over the line. Okay, 2-1, and then we got, like, what, 15 minutes. It is an own goal. Come on, lead has been taken. Endo, great steal. Oh, Salah's got shopped. Send him off. Send him off. That's a yellow. Reyna should be sent off. Okay, I'm going to do... Let's do Gravenberch for uh, Sobo Sly. I haven't even played him yet, so he's on. Do I have one more sub? Uh, let's just leave it, actually. So, Gravenberch's debut for Liverpool. I mean, that was his debut in this game in real life, too. So, this is uh, very realistic. Gravenberch gets it to Trent, and Trent... Pick out a cross. Nunez gets to it. Jose saw another save and it's going to be cleared. Robo wins it though. Gets it to Nunez. Nunez. Salah gets it over. Trent has a chance to seal this game with the shot. And Jose Saab makes another save. Is it bad shooting or is it just like impossible goalkeeping? Like Trent, this is a very, that's a very decent shot. But I guess it's kind of close to him. Come on, score from this corner. Someone, Van Dyke this time is not going to get that. Over to... Revan Birch. Volley attempt and it goes wide. And we've got a lot of chances here. We only have two goals though. That's crazy, Salah. Feeds in. Darwin Nunez. Good turn. Nunez. You must score that. Darwin Nunez scores, and it's going to be a win for Liverpool again. Okay, finally, the ball goes in the back of the net for the third time. Hey, boys, we're celebrating like we just won the World Cup, like we won the Champions League. I'll take it. Yeah, second half, we just played so much better. I would say it's pretty much exactly like real life. Now, this get worse. Casala gets it over to Darwin for another, and Darwin Nunez misses. That was a sitter. Nunez, great ball to Trent. Trent whips it over to Salah. Salah's not going to get that. Gavin Birch in to... Oh, Curtis Jones. 
Great touch there, but can't get a shot away. Yeah, Nunez off the bench be man of the match. He changed his game, I think. Him and Diaz immediately came on and pretty much provided us the win. So full time, 3-1 to Liverpool. And it's a big win because this keeps us on pace with like a top five. We don't fall behind. Inspired substitution, Diaz wins it. I mean, hey, that's a good way to put it. So now it's time to send out our youth scouts finally. So a lot of you guys said we sent our scouts to England and then Egypt. And now this year, there's a little something new with the youth academy. You can now scout for a specific position. Like you want a midfielder, you can choose center mid. If you want a striker, you can choose striker, which is really cool. So no longer are you getting like a mix of players if you want a certain player you can target them exactly for example we sent our scout in england to uh, look for a center mid we sent our scout in egypt to look for a technically gifted right winger or i think you may know who and this last scout a lot of guys also said to send it to the netherlands to uh you know build up that netherlands core we have with van dyke graven birch uh, cody gakpo so let's look for maybe let's, let's look for a center back in the netherlands so let's do physically strong center back let's do that so england egypt and netherlands those are where our scouts are going and we'll see what we find so we currently have a starting 11 on the performance focus plan which isn't hurting fitness too much so i think we should keep it at that but the bench a lot of players are not sharp so we're gonna put the bench on a uh, performance focus as well so a lot of these players can get like their their sharpness up right so i'm gonna do that for the subs and reserves so which means everyone's on performance focus which players like gomez matt t should get sharper on that training plan now the starting 11 start to get tired then we have to probably change that to balance maybe but honestly i like this training better than the training before so now our next game is our first game of the europa league group stage is the answer lask we got union saint oh man i don't know the rest of that name is and toulouse so lask up first so this is a game that liverpool played today or i guess yesterday if you're watching this now now we're gonna play a very similar lineup to Liverpool played in real life giving players like Ben Doka chance like uh Basetic, also Simikas Harvey Elliott so a lot of young players as we start the Europa League come on even with these rotations we should get off to a good start here see that we get the walkouts here but it's not like the old walkouts it's so quick it's like all of a sudden the plays this and all of a sudden you're into the game I hope they put in like the old walkouts because if they don't that is going to be a very uh, odd choice I think Simikas gets it to Diaz over to Gavin Birch gets it over to Ben Doak Ben Doak someone's got to find a shot it's not exactly where I wanted it there too many great dribbling though gets it into Diaz Diaz Good touch shot. Okay, that shot was so far wide. Nunez out to Diaz. Diaz flips it up to uh, Ben Doku. who's not going to reach that. That is a weird, awkward rebound. It's not going to get to anyone, though. Back out. Gets it to Diaz. Diaz. Is this a better shot? Okay, he just got destroyed. Oh, Ben Doku. Look at the dribbling there by the youngster. Gets it back to Diaz. Diaz shoots, and Diaz will score this time. Okay, that shot was much better. Hey, that was created by Ben Doku. Just uh, some good dribbling, a pass back, and Diaz. Good finish. Pretty simple start. And it's a 1 0 to Liverpool. Elliot gives it to Doku, getting a Doku is looking very positive here. Gets it over to Raven Birch, and it's 2-0 to Liverpool. Okay, I think the team woke up on the right side of the bed today. We're not waiting until the second half to play good. Raven Birch on the score sheet, and it's 2-0. Dimikas on their left winger. That's a good turn. Van Dijk is in a try. Okay, I can't give a penalty. I keep going for, like, reckless tackles right now. That's a shot. And that was so slow. All right, this team might not be very good. Raven Birch, Simikas, Simikas, actually great ball. Diaz gets it over to Harvey Elliott. Goes for a long shot, and that's going to be blocked. But no penalty. Cannot take a tackle. It's going to be a corner, though. Corner swung in. That is a great corner. Zubamendi, great clearance, though. Oh, good cross. And that is actually going to go in. Okay, that's a great header. I don't know how my center backs got beat, though. Was that Bosetic? I didn't expect this cross. Right? That's a great cross. And uh, Kanata gets beaten, but it is Bosetic who uh, misses his man. Yeah, he just watches him run by him. Oh, the youngster. Just loses focus, and we concede. All right, 2-1. Nunez into Elliot. Elliot. Should score that. It's a good save by their keeper. Man, their defense looks terrible, though. We should score many goals in this game. Diaz header, and that goes just wide. Okay, second half begins. We're up 2-1. That last goal by them makes this a little bit more interesting, though. In a bad way for us. To Ben Doak. Okay, Nunez, you're so offside. Gavin Birch has no option there. Nunez, can you stay onside, please? Nunez over to Elliot. Elliot plays it into Benjamin Doak. Gets it back to Basetic. Gets it to Elliot. Oh, man. I was trying to actually pass it to Diaz. Come on. We can't let him back in the game here after our good start. I actually don't know how that was a goal kick. I thought it was a corner. I thought it was off Kanate, but I guess not. Nunez, Basetic gets it over to Ben Doak. Ben Doak crosses it in. Oh, man. He just crossed it into the post, I think. I was aiming for far post. That hit literally hit the post. We got 20 minutes. I would like just one more goal here because right now they're looking threatening to tie this up. Great steal by Govenbridge, though. Elliot out to Benjamin Doak. Now, Doak, you might have Diaz far post. That is actually a great cross, Diaz. One touch. Plays it to Gravenberg. She went for a first time shot and it wasn't that far off. Okay, subs coming on. We got Gakpo, uh, Jota coming on. We got Joe Gomez coming on. Also McAllister to help try and seal this win here. McAllister long ball. That should be headed on by Jota beautifully into Darwin. Nunez takes his time. I took too much time. I thought I had more time to pick out the corner. Hey, we're still learning the game. That's my excuse, although it's not a good one. Corner in. Jota will make my excuse not even matter. 3-1 to Liverpool. That's going to be another win. And it's one that we thoroughly deserve. Now, do we get one more chance? Grevenberch gets it to Nunez. Nunez, where's the pace at? Where's the pace? There's the pace. Nunez 
Can he go all the way this time? We'll score. Okay, Nunez might be a beast. We already knew that, but I think we're seeing it now. 4-1, great start to our Europa League campaign. Comprehensive win at Anfield. And yeah, the fans are proud of that one after the game. The boys should be too. Now, our first two games, I feel like were games that we should win. Now, we have our first true test of the episode. We're facing Spurs away. Now, we're in sixth place. They're in third. We are seven points off Man City in first to have started six wins out of six games. Hey, that shows the competition we're up against. Getting back in the Champions League is going to be so tough. That's why it's so rough when you fall out of it. And before this game, Mo Salah speaks out and says this game is a huge game for the early part of our season. It's a tone setter for where we see ourselves this season. And we're playing a very like re-energized Spurs, a new coach. So I feel like this game is going to be tough. Okay, players are extremely tired. Maybe we mismanaged uh, the fitness a little bit. So Van Dyke is too tired. He has to sit. So we're going to play, uh, man, Matip's tired too. Okay, Gomez or Van Dyke, we got to do that. Shred gets the armband. And then, uh, man, everyone is tired. Yeah, I probably should have I probably should have switched the training after a while, huh? Okay, we're going to go with that and then probably make subs early. But mistakes might have been made. Like I said, this right here is going to be a true test for us, I think. So Spurs v Liverpool. We win this. It'll give us a lot of uh, momentum here and a lot of belief in our squad this season. Okay, this is a good start for them. Gomez gets it out. Van Dyke's gonna miss this game, but obviously he was way too tired to play. So Obasai, though, is never tired. The man's got so much energy. Now we're gonna try to cross it to Jota. It's good defending by Romero. Diago gets it over to Endo. Endo. I'm gonna try to flip it up to Trent, but Sun steals it. Okay, but now that's a spot we cannot lose the ball in, especially to Sun. Trent, Trent, man, can't get tackle in. This is extremely dangerous. Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. Allison, great save. But Richarlison puts it in anyways. Man, we can't lose the ball in a bad spot like that. That defeats the whole purpose of our, our style, our tactical vision. Still, though, this is pretty lucky. Allison makes a great save, and it just bounces up still for Richarlison. That's so unlucky. All right, bad start. Down 1-0 early on. Double Sly, Salah, Jota, get it over. Oh, man, that play looked really good right there. Gulashevsky, please, no, don't do this to me, Kanate. Okay, I missed. I wasn't even close right there in that tackle. And they're just sorting the ball off of Kanate that was doing good there. Okay, Jota, that's a rough tackle by... Is that David Alba playing for Spurs? It is. Lushevsky, Trent should have that. Trent back to Allison. And we're just going to clear that. Smart clearance, actually. Come on, boys. We got to get this game tied up. Sobo slide into Salah. Salah dribbling. Oh, I was going to try to play it to Diaz there. Son in a great spot. This is just not what you want to do. Kanate has been so good this game, though. He's doing all the work of Van Dyke. Cross it in. Trent gets it out. Can we wake up in this game? Diaz, another clearance. Salva Sly is not going to win that, though. Okay, they got a free kick. Now, someone's in the comments to put a man on the line. I kind of feel like that's cheating, though, because no team would usually put a man on the line when it's that far out. I can't believe the power on that free kick, though, right there. Diaz, Jota, now Diaz should run. Jota gets it to Diaz. Diaz over to Tiago should score. Loris makes a great save, though. Trent corner in. Jota. Oh, that, he got his head to that, but he had no contact on it. Okay, we looked a little bit better towards the end, but we are currently down 1 0 right now. Double Sly and Asala. Come on, boys. We have made comebacks many times before already. We are mentality giants. Endo. Great pass to Robo. Robo. Crossover. Beautifully done. Loris. Gets ahead to it, but oh, I think Jota was offside. He was, and that was a whipped in cross, though. I would say so far, I'm liking the new gameplay of the game. I feel like it's a lot slower, and uh, I mean, I don't know if I'd say more realistic, but it's slower. But I do like it though, it feels good. Just my biggest complaints are the no uh intro walk ups or anything like handshaking, any of that, and also the subs on the bench only five. That is probably my two biggest complaints I can think of right now. Plays it, oh, your dogi blocks it. That should have been right to Jota and Curry into a Charleston. Oh, Trent, why are you so far over? Why is no one on Basuma? I thought Trent would be there, like, he was so far away. Way. Okay, we're down 2 0 with uh, 20 minutes left. Man, Kanate did well, but we just left him out to dry because Basuma, yeah, Trent is backwards. He's nowhere near Basuma. And that's not good defending. Trent and Salah, though. We have a chance here. Salah tries to cut inside. He does. Salah will shoot. Romero just got a foot in at the perfect time. Boba Sly and Salah. We're getting chances here. Salah, dink up. Jota. Jota gets it over to. Luis Diaz, who will score. Okay, 10 minutes left. We have a chance. 2-1. We have given ourselves life. Man, this is almost completely ruined, but Jota, I mean, that's a very smart pass there. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Okay, we need subs, though. Gotta take off Salah. Gotta take off Kanate. And I think we'll go with that to finish this game. So, Nunez, um, Gakpo on. Can we tie this up in the final 10 minutes? Come on, I want some Nunez chaos here. Gakpo gets a Nunez. Now, Nunez, wait for Gakpo. Wait for him. Timed to perfection. Cody Gakpo goes all the way. Will go himself, and Cody Gakpo scores to make it 2-2. Okay, uh, whoever ran inside Gakpo made the worst run I've ever seen. But the defenders, like, didn't know who to mark there. They just stood there. Cody Gakpo, instant impact off the bench. Yeah, Romero would try to catch up. Romero couldn't catch up, though. Oh, man, great finish by Gakpo. 2-0 down with 20 minutes to now 2-2. We have two minutes left. Is there a chance for another goal here? Son, oh, that's a, is that a foul? No, that's going to be a foul. Come on, don't let them score a goal after this great comeback. It would be heartbreaking, son. 
Van Dyke on Sutton. Van Dyke, great tackle. Is that it? That might be it, though. That might be it. That's going to be it. Okay. Hey, 2 0 down, 20 minutes left. We get a point. That was a tough game, and I'll take that result. We fought back. That's a good thing. It shows that we may not be there yet, but this team still has heart. Okay, we need to look at this training because everyone's too tired. Yeah, pretty much the whole starting 11 is tired. So we are going to change the starting 11, and we're going to change it to uh, balance. So apply starting 11. So that should mean a little bit less intensive training, should mean more fitness. Well, I think for now, the bench is fine on their performance focused training. We got to hire more coaches, though, because we only have like, we only have a few coaches for each, uh, each position. As you can see, like the ideal stars are 20 23 we only have nine and nine and three and eight so we need more coaches here and there's like no good defensive coaches right now okay there is a very good midfield coach though we're gonna apply him to the midfield so we're gonna go to midfield we're going to add on what was his name his name was jordan rogers to the midfield we'll hire him five star makes sense now is there any attacking coaches i believe there was one right there's alan price and then uh actually uh liam kemp is a getting pressing coach so we will do him as well for the uh third spot on the attacking department so it looks like there's four four limits to each coaching spot so that is interesting we gotta keep in track of that i want to hire more but we need some like defensive coaches and goalkeeping coaches and right now this list right here there's like no good ones so we're gonna wait but our stars for the attacking midfield look a little better all right so seven games in we sit now in ninth place which is not good but we're only what we're only three points off uh fifth we're right there but we gotta stop dropping points though unfortunately we face now brighton who are in third place and we all know how good brighton have been playing so away this game might be tough okay so everyone looks better other than uh jota and van dyke i don't know why those two are tired we definitely gotta learn how to manage players better it is a little more complicated than i thought now i'm gonna play nunez for jota i'm gonna leave van dyke in there we need van dyke we saw last game how much we missed him so uh let's give zubamendi the start at tdm though and i think we might go with that actually let's go McAllister or at tiago this game and actually gagbo for diaz let's do that too so that is our lineup facing brighton are the brighton tunnels we got the brighton players zanzu starting i actually don't know we're wearing the third kits of the first time these purple kits they're kind of clean actually they're pretty simple but they're clean but come on we gotta stop dropping points we gotta go on like a little winning streak here McAllister gets it to sobo sly a chance to go for a long shot oh it looked good but it goes wide oh Salah, great steal now nunez could be in here nunez First touch, needs to stop, gets it to Solbaslai, plays it over to Godi Gakpo, and what a move by Liverpool. Okay, 12 minutes in, that's a great start. All started by a solid steal, but the passing here, Solbaslai gets the assist. Gakpo, it's a great finish. Okay, good start. Now, let's continue this. Man, it feels like uh, Gakpo, Jota, Salah, everyone's scoring in our forwards. Makes it hard to pick players, like, probably all of them should be starting, but you just can't start them all. Salah through to Trent, Dogs and Arnold, gets it back to Salah, Salah. Nunez gets it over to Trent. Oh, man, that should have worked better. So it's like gets it into Nunez. Nunez will shoot, and that should be a corner, I think. Now, from corners, we actually look pretty good. And saying that, Van Dyke almost just scored. And when you got Trent Robbo on corners, we definitely have good chances every time. Not that time. McAllister. Bang one from distance. That is off that man's face. Trent gets it to Solbaslai from distance himself. And it's going to be another save. Bro, one of these long shots has to go in. Oh, McAllister. Great still against his former team. Nunez, oh, Salah's got so much space. Salah, you must score this, and he's going to score that. Okay, this game has been much better overall so far. 2-0 to Liverpool. Yeah, Brighton's defense looking very shaky there. No one was, no one's marking Salah. It's a very tidy finish. Bro, they are playing horrendous this game. I thought Brighton were in third place. Darwin Nunez tries to get inside. That fake shot was so slow. Van Dyke, oh no. Salva Slayer McAllister should have got that. I mean, I guess they're trying to play a very pressing, like, possession based style like us, but we are just playing it much better right now. Now, did I jinx it? I might have jinxed it. No. Nate will get it, and that should be halftime, and it is. Hey, so far, so good. All right, McAllister, long ball to Salah. I thought that might work, but it, it wasn't even close to, actually. This is dangerous, but we're going to try and play that pass. We did. Van Dyke now has come over Nate Fati, which, okay, that was good back heel. Allison will save it, though. And Van Dyke will clear the ball. All right, a Brighton going to try to get back in this game now. Oh, that's Salah's. Salah, good tackle. No, that should be his. No, he deserves it. That was such a good tackle. Oh, man, we are pressing them so bad right now. We forced them all the way back. Oh, that was blocked by Nunez, and he's offside. I didn't mean to pass it. What just happened there? Oh, that's weird. It goes to Allison. Allison, wait, why didn't he catch that? Allison gets it back to Ansu. Ansu shoots, and Allison saves it there. Okay, Ali, you should have caught that first one, though. All right, sub. We got to take Salah off. We're going to bring on Diaz for Salah. Van Dyke is rinsed. Okay, so Gomez for Van Dyke. Let's do Curtis Jones for McAllister, and then we'll leave it at that. I'm trying to give playing time to everyone, but honestly, it's hard, and the fact that we only have five subs definitely doesn't help. I mean, like five uh, spots on the bench for subs. Right now, Xander Arnold, long ball. Oh, D Nunez might have actually got that but he got shouldered all right press come on force a mistake force a mistake out of brighton the gets it out okay we're not gonna force a mistake i don't think not a great ball to curtis jones jones gets it over to trent trent crossover beautiful to nunez great attempted finish diaz header and it goes over the net come on this third goal we'll see what we got 10 minutes left trent trent great ball to gakpo lays it back to soba sly i tried to go for like a low driven finish there I had no power on it though trent cross in that looks good not good enough gomez can you pass it maybe finally ganate 
two. Curtis Jones. Curtis Jones crossover. Nunez is there, but Verbruggen will catch it. All right, we might be stuck on two goals, but I think we've won this game. Milner, don't do it against our former team. Gomez clears it. Trent will get the final clearance, I think, and that should be game. Okay, we just play. We just outplayed Brighton by a lot there. They were very bad for being in third place. Now this needs to start a winning streak. Dominic Sobasai's Liverpool struggles continue. Um, what? I'm the first to heard of that. He's been really good in this team. Now, okay, Van Dyke, we need to change like his training plan because he's just way too tired. He's on balance, so we should switch him to energy focused, I think. But that means his sharpness goes down by a lot. I don't know why he's like way more tired than anyone else. Maybe the balance though will balance it out. I mean, it's in the name. All right, so now our defense stars is 23, the ideal amount. So I'm guessing that means players have grown, so our defensive rating has gone up, which means we need more stars. I think that's what it means. Now there are still like barely any good defensive coaches here. Where's the five stars? We got some four stars, but they're not gigan pressing. I mean, this guy looks decent. We'll hire him because we need some coaches now. So Neil to the defensive department. That's four stars. Are there any other decent defensive coaches? We got Harrison Cross, but he's not gigan pressing. I think I want to wait for like a really good defensive gig and pressing coach to fill that third spot since we have limited coaching spots i want to get like good coaches i don't want to waste spots on them but i mean if all else fails i guess coaches can actually like improve their uh, knowledge level but if we have to we probably can hire some like co coaches that aren't as good and then build them up maybe there's still lots to learn with the uh, coaching department here but okay slowly climbing up the table we are one point off brighton now in fourth so we're right there and only four points off second place now everton are in fifth place that's very weird also because that is our next game the merseyside derby everton being above liverpool that's just weird i mean they got better up top i mean it's not a terrible team, but they should not be above us. Now, thankfully, the first team looks pretty fit here. Other than Gakpo, I don't know why Gakpo is so tired now. Maybe that's like international duty because I think they were just on international play. So I do not know, but we're going to go with that lineup against Everton. And hey, win this, we could be back in the top four. And like all the intro cinematic stuff is really cool, but we need the walkouts though. The intro stuff added onto the walkouts would make so much more immersion. The fact that it goes straight to kickoff every time, that's definitely pretty lame. Hopefully it's a bug or they change that or something. I don't know. Like, bro, this game had like some of the best presentation out of most sports games, at least in that intro like lineup thing. And it's not even being used now. That's like a waste. A good cross. That is a waste of a cross. And oh, to Trent. Trent against Everton. Oh, man. That shot wasn't even on target, I don't think. Well, we got to keep this winning streak going after Brighton. Luis Diaz gets it to Thiago. Thiago shoots, but it goes over the net. Diaz over to Sobosly. I want to score a long shot goal, but I haven't yet. The keepers keep saving them. Bravo. Cross in. That's a great cross. Salonier post. Flicks it on, but no one can get to it. Oh, that could have been a tap in for Jota. Thiago gets it over to Diaz. Diaz got space. Oh, we should have got it to Sobosly. Endo. Get it out to Trent. Trent will now whip this thing in. Actually, give it to Sobosly. Try to. We did not. Now, Everton play a very different style than teams we faced recently. They got that uh, kick and rush style. Definitely not Brighton. It's definitely not uh, not Spurs. That's a great cross, though. Robson gets it out, and then Sobosly can't get that clearance. But, oh, what a great touch by Gomes. But Robertson, good tackle right there. Thiago gives it to Robbo. Robbo gets it over. Oh, gets it back to Luis Diaz shoots and Diaz scores. Okay, that might be our furthest goal right there. Great shot and it's 1-0 to Liverpool in the Merseyside Derby. I feel like we're starting to play better and better, like more consistent. Great pass by Jota Diaz. Very good shot. That's outside the box, so it is the farthest uh, goal we've scored, I think. I don't mind it. 1-0. Thiago. Okay, Sobosai. We're going to shoot this from all oh, from pretty far out. That's off that man's face. He needs a new face after that. Hey, Endo, that's a great tackle. That is a Derby worthy tackle there. So up a sly. Again, this time it's not going to be blocked, but it's right to Pickford. I mean, I feel like with the shooting in this game, though, you can score some like really good long shot goals. I can just feel it. But first half is 1-0, second half. Keep this up and this should be another win. We got to score the second, though. We are pretty much dominating this game, though, in terms of possession. And I say that, we give it up. The Tyser jinx every episode. It always prevails. So up a sly. Get it up, Salah. Great ball, Salah. We'll try and cut inside. Does. Goes for a shot. Good block. Not all the way out, though. Sal is not going to win the header, though. Okay, Endo is having a very good game here. Robertson gets it into Solbosly. In to Diogo Jota. Shot. Pickford. Good save. Friend, cross in. Jota, that's yours. Okay, that's not yours because that header was pretty bad. Sala, Solbosly into Trent. Trent's a long shot. Oh, man, they look so good. I want to see it just fly in the corner. Robertson, cross in. Salah, header. Man, it goes right back to Pickford. Same thing as last time. I feel like Everton have barely had possession. Like, this might be like... This might be like 70-30 possession. Solvus like... Oh, it's got so much power. I want to see it go in. Look at all our shots. Okay, I might have been taking too many long shots. We might need to calm down. We're only up one goal right now. Man, that long kick tactic is not working for Everton right now. We got 20 minutes. Are we going to find... This second goal, Jota tries to get it over. Still might get it over. Oh, great ball. I think he's offside. Is he offside? No, it's almost like he's at the post. Man, we should have scored that he actually was onside. Man, we have not dominated a game like this yet, though, in this series. Like, Everton have nothing going this game. So, almost like Salah should make it two, and Salah will make it two. 78th minute, it is 2-0 to Liverpool. Yeah, this has just been domination. And uh, Mo Salah, a great finish past Pickford, finally. And this could get worse. Oh, that was going to be a great pass. Nunez on for Jota is going to lose it to Ghana. Man, look at our press, though. We are relentless. This is the Merseyside Derby. We don't give up. When I say that, 
that, they break through the press like nothing. Okay, you got a free kick in this little spot here, but it should mean nothing. They better not score it. Beto crosses it in Allison. Allison will catch it in the end. Okay, that's full time. 2-0. Another solid win. We're getting better and better with each game. So even without like a big name signing in this transfer window for us, it feels like we're inching closer and closer to the top. Very slowly though. So with that win, we are now in fifth place. Tied for basically third and fourth though. And only one point off Arsenal in second. So we're right there. We have made a very decent recovery. And then Europa League, we sit top of the group with uh, two wins out of two. So, so far, it's been a solid start to the season. Man City are still the team to beat, but we don't look bad. Now, next episode, we're going to have uh, the scouting reports back from our youth scouts. And we're going to see if we maybe find the next Liverpool star. But if you enjoyed this one, then drop a like. I'd appreciate it. Um, on screen is a video that you might like. And as always, hope you guys have a great day.